For coral to grow, a delicate balance of oceanographic conditions need to align. They need a hard surface to grow on, bathed in clear, nutrient-poor salt water that ranges from about 73 to 78 degrees Fahrenheit. It all starts with a tiny creature. The animal is actually very close related to a jellyfish and he lands up on his back, glues to the bottom. Little tentacles going up, collecting mainly plant nutrients from the water. A big lump of fish's poo is very good for him. And within the animal's flesh are the plants, which are brown, dull-coloured algae. But the animal's flesh then twists this brown colour into lots of other colours. And from this tiny little animal grows big, big mounds. It's just magic. The coral skeletons create the reef structure, but a myriad of other creatures then collaborate to maintain a healthy reef. Sponges are big destroyers of the reef. They get into cracks and damages on the surface, and they rot the limestone looking for bits of food. And they cause cracks in the coral, and they cause caves, and all the caves and flow throughs are built by the sponges. But during the daytime, these caves hold cold water and keep the surface of the reef cooler. And at night time, these caves hold warmer water and keep the surface of the reef warmer, keeps the temperature nice and stable. And without stable temperature, we can't keep corals growing. The interdependence is absolutely, completely and utterly phenomenal. <laughs>